You want to support Roller Martin Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roller Martin Unfiltered. By going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com, you can make this possible. Well, it's very interesting, RC, how quiet a lot of Republicans have been. Take Mark Meadows. This is a man who, when he was, he felt aggrieved by being attacked by Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib, he thundered, Congressman Elijah Cummings is one of my dear, dearest friends. It's amazing, RC, that Mark Meadows has said nothing about Trump's attacks on his dear friend, Elijah Cummings. What's going on here? Well, what's going on is you see the president finally standing up for the contemptible uh, conditions that black residents in Baltimore are living under. Let me read a couple of stats for you. Since Friday, there was 13 people shot, including a 12-year-old boy who died. Um, furthermore, you can smell the rats. That was an exact quote made by a former mayor of Baltimore, Catherine Pugh. Furthermore, in 2017, there was a film literally called Rat Film. What was that about? Baltimore and their rat infestation. So despite the attempts by people in the media to try to caricature these uh, descriptions from the president as racist, what they are is they're actually depiction of reality. And I think that you did a little bit of justice finally mentioning Kimberly Klaychik. She was the woman who even brought this issue to a national front, a black woman, a Baltimore resident standing up for her people. So it's not racist for the president to talk about these RC. positions. In fact, RC. the only thing that's racist are the Democrats who refuse to do something and lift a finger to help these issues. Did you know, Rollin, that it took RC. three days RC. for Baltimore RC. City officials RC. to RC. remove three RC. Confederate let me ask statues? Your question. Three days. That's all it took. RC, let me ask you a question. RC, 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 you can over talk, but it's not going to work. Let me ask you a question. What do you make of Jared Kushner being one of the largest mm -hmm. slum lord owners in Baltimore and based upon lawsuits saying his Baltimore apartments have been infested with rodents, mold, and maggots? Is Donald Trump going to walk down the hall and tell, tell Jared, clean up those apartments? I don't think the idea of Jared Kushner uh, owning some properties that have been infested with rats, I don't think that's mutually exclusive with the idea that Democrats have allowed the state to functionally be failed. Wait, 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 RC, yeah. RC, mm -hmm. his mm -hmm. son-in-law owns rat infested apartments in Baltimore. So yeah. if he is criticizing um, rodents yeah. and infestation in Baltimore, why not yeah. tell his son-in-law, go clean up those damn apartments? Yeah, newsflash, Roland. Everyone who owns property in that area is infested with rats. That's why it's disgusting and it needs to be cleaned oh, up. Wait, it's not wait, Jared but wait a minute. No. Why, but why not tell Jared to go fix the problem? He said in his tweet, he challenged Congressman Cummings to fix the problem. Why not tell his son-in-law, fix your damn rat-infested apartments? <laughs> I don't think you know how city planning works. Um, if a private owner oh, cleans rats now out of his know. area, Wait a minute. that doesn't now, mean that you the said rat Now you're making excuses. Is going you're to making be excuses for Jerry, but you're oh, criticizing black folks. Okay. I'm explaining to you how the world works. If Jared Kushner was to eradicate Whoa. rats from the building, oh, 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 they just return. <laughs> oh, I, I, I need popcorn for uh, this. Are you saying that Wait, 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 hold up. That film was made about Jared Kushner's, or was it made about the city of Baltimore? Right? You can play these games RC? with the other people, but you can't play these ga RC? games with me. <laughs> RC, you can't was criticize. You can't cri no, 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 RC. You cannot, RC. You can't criticize rats and trash in Baltimore and ignore a person who owns rat-infested buildings in Baltimore who happens yeah. to be the son-in-law. But RC, before I go to uh, before I go to Avis, I gotta ask you this: Could you please expound on Donald Trump's restaurants that have been cited for rats? You're deflecting from the conversation. This conversation is about no, black no, no. residents I'm asking in you Democrat a ran cities I'm living in rat infested rat infested no, 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 no. that have he trash was, out in the RC, street. This isn't about RC, a restaurant Trump owned by rats. This is a joke. 
This is a joke. RC, nice try. He was specifically criticizing rat infested places in Baltimore. His own restaurants in New York have been cited for rat infestation. Is that good or bad? That's not the conversation. Is it good or bad for black single that's mothers not, to be living in rat infected neighborhoods? I love in that's not the conversation. Yeah, yeah. This, this conversation is about this conversation is not about Trump. Oh, let, not about Trump. Let, let me go to let Avis. Me tag A, Avis, tag Avis, Avis, you got Avis. Yeah. Avis, you gotta love this here. You gotta love RC saying it's not about Trump when Trump is the one who started the tweeting about. Rats and rotens. Let's uh, even go back before that. Trump. Let's even go back before that. Trump was the one who ran on the motto, make America great again. Last I checked, Baltimore was in America. So why isn't he doing that? Number one. Number two, in terms of Jared Kushner, he has a total of 170 code violations in the properties that he owns in Baltimore alone. That means Jared Kushner is breaking the law. And that's how that world works. I'm wondering what Jared Kushner is doing for his tenants whom he has avoided correcting the code violations that he has to this day, specifically uh, against the laws and the regulations of housing as it relates in the city of Baltimore. You know, it's, it's very convenient. It's very convenient for this president to continually use I wouldn't even say dog whistles. I would say out and out racist conversation around talking about majority black spaces, whether they be neighborhoods, whether they be entire countries. He has a way of specifically talking about places that only represent people who look like you and me. I would just have to say finally that I am in full support and agreement of the Baltimore Sun's editorial board when they said, that I would much rather live among rats than to be one. Be a rat. Because that's exactly who's inhabiting the White House right now. Roland, let me chime in here. Joy, go ahead. N not only do I agree 100% with Ms. Avis sitting right here, but Donald Trump, in the middle of the unrest in Baltimore in 2015, writes that President Obama had a responsibility to go to Baltimore and to help out. He is now president of the United States, and so where is his responsibility? In addition to that, Donald Trump obviously doesn't understand the division of government. It is not the representative from Congress who cleans up the city. It would be the mayor. He also knows nothing about Elijah Cummings. Elijah Cummings lives in that district, lives in that city all the time. He does not have a home in Washington. He goes to Baltimore every day. And for everybody who knows the 7th District, and I'm from Baltimore, everybody who knows the 7th District, his community is on the uptick. He's creating jobs. for the, He's helping the mayor of the city create jobs for that community. That is not the community he should be complaining about. Elijah Cummings is beloved and respected in his community because he is on the streets in that community making a difference in their lives. This is, like Ava said, not dog whistling. This is an all-out holla. You have to vote for me, white people, because so, I want to support the, your racism. So, R.C., I got to ask you again, again, since you want to deflect and say it has nothing to do with Trump, how can you criticize rat infestation when your own son-in-law owns those very buildings that are rat infested? Shouldn't he fix the problem? He is the, he is, he's the slumlord. He's a landowner. He owns the buildings. Shouldn't it be his job, not the member of Congress, to fix a rodent problem in the building? Or shall you deflect again? I mean, it's a loaded question, fallacy, complex question, fallacies, faulty no, premise, not. fallacies. I no, can name not. the amount of fallacies that are faulty that your question is premised on. But, Roland, you're a very smart person. Name you know exactly uh, exactly name what you're talking about. Let me, let, 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 let me, do, let me add one more thing um, that I do really want to say. No, no, you no, talk no, about no, 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 no. Our son Name what I said board. that was false. No, no, no. No, 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 RC. Name what I just said that was false. The faulty premise is, number one, that a singular property owner replenishing his neighborhood somehow has an impact on the entire city. 
like I said, the Baltimore Sun, uh, no, no, that no, no, exam no, 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 editorial uh, board uh, that you uh, talk uh, about, they no, wrote an op-ed entitled RC, Baltimore RC, I have to stop you. Were they talking about RC, Jared Kushner? I have to stop you. Were they RC, talking about Jared RC, were they Congressman, talking about RC. That's RC, you're not going to sit here and lie. RC, RC, I do not, RC, I do not cut microphones. I do not cut microphones. What you're not going to do, you're not going to do is sit here and lie. RC, RC, this is real simple. This is real simple, RC. RC, this is real simple. Tangible conversation. RC, this is very simple. I don't. No, I need you to hear me. You're not going to continue. You're not going to continue until I make this point. I don't cut microphones, but I'm going to cut your microphone if you don't stop. If you don't stop, I'm going to cut your microphone. I need you to answer the basic question. Cut his microphone. Cut his microphone. Now, RC, I'm going to come back to you. I'm allow you to answer the question. What you're not going to do on this show is overtalk me. It's not going to happen. You're not going to overtalk a guest. I'm going to allow you to finish. But what you're not going to do is when I tell you to stop, you stop. Now, answer this question. If Donald Trump wants Baltimore to be improved when it comes to trash, when it comes to rat infestation, why not say my son, J my son-in-law Jared is going to set the example by fixing the problems in his building, mm. and I challenge others to do the same. Now you can talk. Do you think Jared Kushner is a super of this building, Rowan? How moronic are you? Jared Kushner is not sitting and managing this building. You know that this is a problem I, of the oh city God. of Baltimore. Well, he's a problem of the person managing the building. Right, 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 Does right. he not hire right. people Older. to do that? How moronic is it to suggest that he doesn't have employees that apparently are not doing their damn jobs if he has yeah. 170 violations and he that he has yet to clear from the I was on Why hasn't he? he why is, he, why is Jared Kushner today. breaking the law today? Answer that damn question. Why is he breaking the law 170 on times? On Can you explain why he's doing be, that? And another question, why ain't America great yet? Because he claimed he was going to make America great why? again, and last I, I saw, why? Baltimore is in America. Question? Why isn't it great? And time's ticking. Am I allowed to speak for 30 oh, seconds? Oh, now you want to speak after you've been talking over people no, all day. Go right ahead. One second. One second. Being interrupted one by second. A loud RC. Oh, now you know one how it feels. Now you know how it feels to talk over how people talk over you. Go right on ahead. You can. You may speak after having a black woman talk over you. Yeah. Go right ahead. Yeah. Go ahead, RC. Go ahead, RC. The city of Baltimore has had exactly two Republican mayors since 1920. I don't believe in con uh, coincidences. They have a Republican government. Time and time again, it's been proven that when black Americans elect Democrats in their urban communities, they risk institutional failure. Now, find the lie in that statement. There's a Republican governor right now in the second term. Find the lie. Second term, Republican governor of Baltimore. You just said yourself, it's the mayor of Baltimore. Why? Who, 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 Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why? Why? So Wait a minute. The mayor of Wait a minute. Why? So why can't mayor of RC? Why is it the governor fixing the problem? The governor of Maryland could create a task force to literally go into Baltimore and fix the problem. He has the authority. Why is it the he Republican governor doing that, RC? I don't know. He should be. Here, here, here's my question. Here's my question. Well, RC, We're you're talking about Baltimore now That's your guy. because of President well, Trump. You, you, guys, you guys weren't talking about Baltimore in your program, were you? We talk about Baltimore. Are you lying? We talk about We're Baltimore. Just, a lot. Last time you watched like it, right? Right, right, right. Listen, we talk about Baltimore a lot. Talk about Baltimore. We talk about Baltimore a lot. Let me tell you this. Why isn't Trump talking about the decrease of the tax base in Baltimore? Because industries there have left and gone overseas. He didn't help with that. Sure he have. said he was going to bring back jobs to the American city. He hasn't done that. He said that he was going to help with public school yes. education. Then he I'm puts playing. Betsy, the boss, in place, which strips public school education. He has done absolutely nothing from his seat to help the city of Baltimore or any other major city except sit there and tweet because basically he doesn't understand the issues he doesn't understand the issues RC, he only knows how to talk up RC, here R and not about what has to happen on the ground for these changes to happen he is not understanding RC, his let me job help you out I, I got it RC let me help you out we've actually broadcast the show from Baltimore 
We've done a town mm. hall in Baltimore. We've mm. talked about Baltimore. Yes. Mm. So you're wrong mm. again. Hmm. And while you did all that talking about Baltimore, what's happened to has the rats? Donald Trump, got bigger. Hold what's up. Wait a minute. Since you're, it, question, it, since you're questioning this, RC, has Donald Trump been to Baltimore? Donald Trump is the president well, of the entire United oh, States. He's been president oh, for about two and a half years. It's only an hour from the I'm White House. He's sitting to Baltimore because the black Don, Democrats clearly RC, don't give a damn about the city. District isn't even a RC. I see. Donald Trump has flown all. Tomorrow Donald Trump has flown all the way to. One second. One second, Joy. Donald Trump, RC, has flown all the way to Florida to play golf. In fact, he has driven to the suburbs of Virginia to play this golf course. There is an equal distance to Baltimore. Why don't you send him a tweet or an email and say, "Hey, uh, Donnie boy, why don't you actually go to Baltimore?" since you got so much to say. Well, I'm glad you guys are now agreeing that Baltimore is actually a terrible place, despite the video, the very warm video. No, actually, video we're not. Actually, we're not. We're not, we're not agreeing it's a terrible place. Based no, on we're the not. Accurate depiction of no, we're city. not. We're not agreeing it's a terrible place. The reality is this. There are cities, there are big cities and rural cities. There are towns, there are neighborhoods that need to be improved all over America. In fact, Mick Mulvaney, the chief of staff of Donald Trump, had the audacity to question the poverty rate in Baltimore, even though the poverty rate of the congressional district that he represented was less than 1% of the poverty rate in Cummings District. So the reality, so if you want to talk poverty, you want to talk how bad communities are, do you understand this here? Congressman Jim Clyburn, R.C., has an amendment called the Clyburn Amendment, where he wants 10 percent of all federal funds to go to to go to uh, to go to areas, census tracts, where 20 percent or more of the people have lived below poverty for the last 30 years. Two thirds of those areas are in Republican congressional districts. And, and Roland, let me add that this is not about Baltimore. Absolutely. This is about Elijah nope. Cummings and the Oversight Committee. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is Absolutely. about yep. black people. This is about Donald Trump shoring up his reelection by signaling the people who he thinks are his base. Who, who doesn't care because he thinks if he gets churn out of his base, he's going to win reelection. He doesn't even realize he actually lost the last election. The Electoral College gave him that seat. He lost the last election. So he really doesn't care about Baltimore because next week it'll be Chicago. The week after that will be Miami. Wherever there is a black representative where he can signal his people, I'm with you, far right. I'm with you, Klan, because there's good people on both sides of that argument. Uh, he which is not about Baltimore at all. Nope. So again, Everybody who's watching, I want y'all to understand, guys like R.C. are caping for Donald Trump using his racial tweets to gin his base up. The tweets, of, the tweets of Al Sharpton serve the exact same purpose. We have seen this game before, and we'll see it again. And the way to shut him up and to throw him out is to mobilize and organize. And it's as simple as that. All right, folks, back to that Rollerbox Unfiltered video in just one moment. Hey, folks, you've heard me talk a lot about MarijuanaStock.org. Why? Because I want to keep you informed of investment opportunities that make sense. We have all watched the growth of the cannabis industry. A recent report by New Frontier Data estimates the global cannabis market at more than $340 billion. And we know that marijuana legalization is sweeping the country state by state. We also know that marijuana has a good cousin, the hemp plant, with a much higher concentration of CBD. That means hemp gives you all of the medical benefits of marijuana without getting you high. Until recently, hemp farming was practically illegal in the U.S. and heavily regulated by the DEA. However, the 2018 Farm Bill changed that, making it legal to grow hemp CBD in the U.S. and creating one of the largest commodities worldwide and they need land to grow all of these plants. Folks, this isn't rocket science, it's just an incredible investment opportunity, and that's where our good friends at 420 Real Estate come in. Their business model is simple. They buy land that supports hip CBD grow operations and lease it to licensed high-paying tenants. 
That's right, they are hemp CBD landlords. And you can get in on the action. My friends at 420 Real Estate decided to do something special for the Roland Martin Unfiltered family. Originally, the minimum investment level was $500. But right now, you can invest in this crowdfunding campaign for as little as $200. That's right, $200 up to $10,000. Let me recap. This is a $340 billion industry that is still growing. And you can participate with as little as 200 bucks. To invest, go to MarijuanaStock.org. That's MarijuanaStock.org. Get in the game and get in the game now. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video.